Going to the dentist is too expensive for many Canadians. A report from the Canadian Academy of Health Sciences found that nearly 20% of Canadians have avoided going to the dentist because of the cost. Dr. Robert Schroep explains why your dentist bill is often so hefty. So I know a lot of people have the perception that dentistry is big business and there are some very lucrative practices out there. I won't deny that, but I think what we also need to realize is that the dentists themselves are carrying so much overhead, then that's also reflected by the fees that they need to charge people for dental care to, you know, cover those expenses and still pay staff and make a living as well. There have been calls for full dental coverage within the Canadian healthcare system, says Dr. Schroep. It's an interesting debate. I can see pros and cons. I think it would be nice to give coverage, but I think we also have to realize that just like universal medical care, there are people who still have difficulty accessing physicians, especially if you're disadvantaged, you're living rurally or remotely. Access to dental care is about more than just cost, he explains. We have provincial dental insurance for recipients of employment and income assistance, and First Nations and registered Inuit have dental benefits through the non-insured health benefits program. But those populations actually tend to have some of the worst dental health we know about. So just the fact that you have dental insurance doesn't guarantee you access to dental care and doesn't often translate into improved oral health status. So I think there are some other structural or systemic barriers that also hinder. So just giving people sort of a card and saying, you know, here's your universal insurance for dental care. I'm not necessarily convinced right now that without some other joint campaign that that would be as beneficial. So what is the solution to improving dental health in Canada? I would rather see more targeted investments, maybe to target low-income groups, maybe First Nations and our Indigenous populations, and maybe as well we're finding our newcomers are presenting with dental problems. So I would rather see if there would be sort of efforts to bolster dental coverage for some people. Through Canada, there is a, a decent dental public health safety net. There are usually some community-based clinics that either function through government support or perhaps from donors. Those clinics provide essential or basic dental care to low-income families and the working poor. So I think a lot of times those who potentially could benefit from those types of clinics may not as well be aware, so it's sort of spreading the word. Finally, dentists need to consider other barriers to improve dental health, such as poverty, language, location, and fear. Some groups in society may just not understand the benefits of uh, dental care and going regularly. So they might have it in their mind that the only time I need to seek dental care is perhaps when I'm experiencing dental pain. We're learning as, as a dental community that we need to be better communicators to understand the perspective of their potential clients, you know, trying to make that whole dental experience more sort of culturally appropriate and welcoming to people. I think as well advocating for early uh, preventive dental visits. There's been a concentrated effort to promote that first dental visit by age one. And I think if we can sort of get families on board with that before problems arise, we have opportunities that we can maybe pass good information on to families. For Evidence Network, I'm Melanie Holoboski.